Hello all, today we will discuss about examination of a lump or a swelling. So lump is the term used for vague mass of body tissue and swelling is the term used for any enlargement or protuberance in the body due to any cause. So first history. In the history first about duration, how long is the swelling present, when was the lump first noticed. So for example, in case of congenital swelling like uh, cystic hygroma, or meningocele lump will be noticed since birth if the duration is short and associated with pain the cause may be acute inflammatory cause and if the duration is long and uh, it's painless mostly uh, it's uh, neoplastic like benign cause and if the uh, duration is long and associated with mild pain then it may be uh, due to chronic inflammatory swelling then next ask about mode of onset. How did the swelling start? Whether it started spontaneously or, or after a trauma or from a pre-existing conditions. For example, keloid after scar. Then next ask about site. Where was the swelling first noticed? Then next ask about the pain. Uh, pain associated with the swelling. Uh, and ask about the site of pain, character of pain, time of onset, relation of pain with swelling. And if there is associated pain, then uh, it mostly uh, maybe uh, mostly the swelling is due to traumatic or uh, inflammatory cause. Then uh, next ask uh, ask about the progress of swelling, whether it is static, that is same as onset, uh, that is no increase in size. Uh, if it is slowly increasing in size, then usually it is a benign cause. And if, if it is rapidly increasing in size, then usually mal malignant cause. And um, it uh, can be either initially slowly increasing and later rapidly increasing or initially increasing in size and la later regressing in size. If later regressed with the treatment, then uh, mostly an inflammatory cause. Then ask whether any other swellings are there, uh, for example in case of neurofibromatosis, Hodgkin's disease. Then ask about associated symptoms like fever, loss of appetite, loss of weight, chest pain, hemoptysis, vomiting, jaundice, etc. So if there is fever, we have to consider inflammatory cause, abscess, Hodgkin's disease, renal carcinoma. If uh, loss of appetite and loss of weight, we have to consider malignancy, tuberculosis. Then ask any subsequent changes over the swelling. For example, ulceration, uh, fungation, then uh, satellite nodules. Then ask whether there is any impairment of function of limbs uh, like mm, uh, and or any impairment in uh, function uh, of spine, vertebra and uh, other joints. Then ask about uh, any recurrence of the swelling. If uh, recurs after removal, then we have to suspect malignancy. Then history of ask about history of swe similar swelling in the past, history of previous excision of swelling, uh, and history of previous surgery. Then ask uh, past history. Ask specifically about syphilis, tuberculosis, uh, treatment history, history of allergy. Then personal history, uh, especially chewing uh, betel nut, tobacco in case of oral malignancy. Then uh, for family history, uh, we have to ask about malignant tumors, tuberculosis, von Reclihusen's disease. Then next, uh, physical examination. First, general survey. Uh, so we have to look whether the patient is uh, severely malnourished or uh, cachexia BMI and attitude of the limb uh, which uh, may suggest uh, any uh, nerve compression due to, uh, uh, causing paralysis and also fracture dislocation then uh, temperature and pulse rate so raised temperature associated with tachycardia uh, may suggest any, inf any inflammation going on the body then next local examination so uh, headings are inspection, palpation, state of the regional lymph nodes, percussion, auscultation, measurements, movements, examination for pressure effects. So first inspection, so uh, site of the swelling, color, shape, size, surface, edge, number, pulsation, peristalsis, movement with respiration, impulse on coughing, movement on deglutition, movement with protrusion of tongue, skin over the swelling, pressure effect. First situation, for example, in case of dermoid cysts, 
it usually it is uh, seen in a midline or on the line of fusion of uh, fusion of uh, embryonic process and we have to mention the site uh, and the extent in vertical and horizontal directions next color uh, like black black in case of nevus or malignant melanoma and uh, red uh, in case of red or pink in case of um, hemangioma and uh, blue in case of ranula next uh, shape uh, whether spherical ovoid kidney shape pear shaped etc then next size we have to mention in uh, vertical and horizontal dimensions next surface uh, for example a cauliflower uh, like as in squamous cell carcinoma or uh, multiple branching appearance as in irregular branch surface as in a papilloma next edge whether distinct or indistinct uh, distinct means clearly defined or not then uh, maybe pedangulated or sessile next uh, number of swelling like solitary as in lipoma dermoid cyst or uh, multiple swellings as in uh, neurofibromatosis next pulsations so pulsations are uh, uh, pulsations uh, is seen in swellings which are uh, from swellings which arise from arteries or uh, swellings which are lying over the arteries so um, uh, it can be either aneurysms or vascular growth like carotid body tumor so two types of pulsations are the transmitted pulsations and expansile pulsations so uh, transmitted pulsations in uh, the swellings uh, which lie uh, just superficial to the artery and uh, expansile pulsation is seen in the in case of swelling which arise from arterial walls next uh, look for peristalsis as in congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis or any swellings which cause intestinal obstruction next uh, movement with respiration swellings from upper abdominal viscera move with respiration as in uh, like swellings arising from liver spleen a uh, stomach gallbladder hepatic and splenic flexures of transverse colon next impulse on coughing uh, swellings which are in continuity with abdominal cavity pleural cavity cranial cavity spinal canal will have impulse on coughing or crying for children we can uh, look for impulse on crying next uh, movement on deglutition in uh, uh, if it if the mass is fixed to trachea or larynx then uh, there will be movement on deglutition uh, for a case of in case of uh, thyroid swelling thyroglossal cyst subhyoid bursitis pre or paratracheal lymph node next movement with protrusion of tongue as in uh, thyroglossal cyst so the uh, cyst moves up on protrusion of tongue next uh, look skin of uh, skin over the swelling so whether uh, um, red edematous which suggest inflammatory cause then uh, in case of sarcoma uh, the, the skin over the swelling is tense uh, with the uh, venous venous prominence and glossy appearance will be there then uh, in case of sebaceous cyst we can see punctum then pigmentation uh, in case of molds navy then pudy orange appearance in case of skin infiltration the next uh, pressure effect pressure effect uh, like axillary swelling which cause upper limb edema or uh, in case of um, retrosternal extension of swelling which cause venous engorgement next uh, palpation palpation um, we have to look temperature tenderness size shape extent surface edge consistency fluctuation fluid thrill translucency impulse on coughing reducibility compressibility pulsatility fixity to the overlying skin relations to under surrounding structures first temperature we have to uh, look with uh, back of fingers that is dorsum of uh, palm or fingers and uh, if temperature is raised we have uh, then uh, possibility of infection or uh, temperature is also raised in well vascularized tumor like uh, sarcoma next tenderness so we have to palpate gently and uh, if there is tenderness uh, mostly it's inflammatory cause next look size shape and extent 
uh, we have to mention in vertical and horizontal dimensions and also assess the depth next uh, surface as uh, like smooth surface as in cyst and lobular with the bumps as in lipoma can be nodular as in uh, matted lymph nodes and uh, irregular and rough surface uh, like as in carcinoma next look edge uh, we can uh, look edge with the tip of fingers and uh, uh, if it is well defined then it uh, tend to slip away from the finger uh, the edge can be distinct or indistinct and in case of uh, neoplastic and chronic inflammatory cases then uh, it's uh, well defined margins and if it is acute inflammatory swelling then uh, margins will be indistinct and uh, so in um, smooth margins in benign cause benign swelling and irregular margins in malignant swelling and in case of lipoma uh, the uh, um, swelling will slips away from the palpating fingers but in case of cyst uh, the swelling cannot slip uh, and yield to palpating fingers so that is called slip sign next consistency consistency uh, like it can vary from soft to very hard soft as in lipoma and um, cystic as in cyst like uh, firm as in fibroma hard as in uh, chondroma bony hard as in osteoma stony hard as in carcinoma and variable consistency can occur in uh, carcinoma malignancy and in case of sebaceous cyst the content will be pultaceous content and in that case uh, the molding occurs and uh, in um, in case of um, gas as content uh, uh, we will feel a crepitus as in gas gangrene surgical emphysema next fluctuation fluctuation uh, occurs when the content is liquid or gas and uh, here uh, when sudden pressure is applied on one pole that causes increase in pressure within cavity of swelling and that causes uh, the uh, pressure to transmit equally at right angles to all parts of its wall and then a uh, finger on opposite side will be raised passively so in that uh, we have to keep fingers far apart and uh, we can if the swelling is very mobile then we can fix the, fix the swelling with thumb and forefinger and if it, if the swelling is very small swelling then we can press at center to get fluctuation that is called pagets test and uh, the uh, finger which feels is called watching fingers and a finger which displays is called displacing fingers and uh, for uh, in case of very large swelling we have to uh, put more than one finger and pseudo fluctuation is seen in a very soft swelling as in uh, lipoma or myxoma next fluid thrill uh, so a uh, fluid thrill is um, tested in a uh, case of swelling uh, containing fluid and in here one pole is tapped and the percussion wave is conducted to other poles in case of small swelling three fingers are placed and a middle finger is tapped and the percussion wave is felt by other two fingers in case of large swelling tapping uh, the ta uh, tap uh, tapped on one side with two fingers and the uh, um, the fluid thrill is felt with palm on the other side next translucency uh, it um, translucency is uh, is seen in a case of swelling which transmit light through uh, that is uh, when the content is clear fluid like water serum lymph plasma so in this torch is kept on one side and roll of paper is kept on the other side then next impulse on coughing uh, so uh, in case of continuity with abdominal cavity pleural cavity cranial cavity or spinal canal uh, in case of continuity with abdominal cavity examples are hernia lumbar abscess and continuity with the pleural cavity examples uh, example is empyema nasistens continuity with cranial cavity or spinal canal as in uh, benigniosis next reducibility the um, mass will reduce uh, reduce and disappears when pressed uh, example in case of hernia lymph pericosil meningocele next compressibility the mass can be compressed but won't disappear example hemangioma lymphangioma next pulsatility uh, expansion pulsation and transmittent pulsation uh, so expansion pulsation it uh, when the uh, swelling arises from an artery 
and uh, transmitter pulsation when the swelling is very close to the artery not arising from the artery so in this uh, two fingers are placed over the swelling so when two fingers uh, are uh, raised and separated then it is expansile pulsation but uh, when uh, two fingers are only raised but not separated then it is transmitter pulsations then uh, fixity to overlying skin uh, when the uh, swelling arises from the skin uh, as in papilloma epithelioma sebaceous and also in malignant infiltration next we have to look a uh, relation to surrounding structures uh, like subcutaneous tissue deep fascia muscle tendon vessels nerves bone and we have to assess state of region and lymph nodes next percussion uh, like resonant uh, resonant note uh, shows gaseous content like uh, some in hernia and tenderness uh, like uh, in brodie's abscess hydatid thrill as in hydatid cyst the next auscultation uh, in auscultation we have to look a uh, bruyi murmurs Uh, like a missionary murmur is seen in um, is heard in aneurysmal varix next uh, measurements and movements of nearby joints next examination for pressure effect uh, like uh, we have to look pulse distal to swelling to know about uh, any compression uh, compression to the arteries then nerves uh, like uh, we have to assess whether wasting is there or paralysis or paresis or a sensory disturbance is there then a bone erosion thank you